Hello scrapbookers, this is Michelle at michellesizemore.com. This shows you right here my website link and this is my actual creative memories ordering link and the name of my YouTube channel. I'm going to show you this page that I made. This is using the Birthday Bonanza kit or collection. I love the fun and bright colors. I use this banner border maker punch that goes with the border maker system. And I used a few other tools, but that's the main one. And I'll show you the others as we go. Okay, let's set all this aside. And these are all of the items that I use. These are the scraps and the pieces that I used. I put this in a power project sleeve, just a temporary holding place that I can easily get to. It's open at the top and the side, and you can get those from me. I, I provide those at Creative Memories. And this just shows you everything that I used. I used these papers. And again, these are my scraps because I've been using this a lot. I love this collection, so I've used a lot of it. And this is the background that I used. I used a strip of paper from the side of this paper. Okay, so let's set all this aside. And I also used this from the Variety Matte Pack, and I used these little epoxies. The actual ones, I think, that I used are off of here, but I wanted you to see what they look like. Okay, so I'm gonna move all this aside for the moment. get my demo back. So the first thing I want to do is cut this little strip right here and it's just a half inch strip. So I'm going to use my Creative Marie's trimmer and just line this up at the one half inch mark which is right, let me see, it's right there half an inch and then let me make sure you can see that half an inch and then follow this grid line all the way down get rid of that and cut with a straight blade so now I have just a skinny strip of that and I would save this to use for something else this is actually called fast a fabulous paper it's a paper pack that's already pre-decorated for you but sometimes I just use pieces of it to do things freestyle so this is the background paper that I used and this goes at the top I'm not going to mount it yet and you'll see why in just a few minutes okay now I'm going to cut my little banner pieces and I just need a few of each color, like maybe four at the most. So I'm gonna start with this pink and I'll show you how to cut a whole row of these little banners. This is the banner border maker cartridge. I put it in here. The little metal pieces are sticking out. Then here's my paper tray holder. I put my paper inside here line it up with the edges here of the tray and close my magnetic arm plop my tray underneath and then i put the paper inside this slit right here my notches match up which means everything is matched up underneath kind of like a puzzle piece and i punch and then i pull it out and gently plop it in place and i punch and i'm standing up so that I can kind of lean over it and put some weight on it. And I'm punching it firmly with the palm of my hand. Not hard, but a good firm punch. And I just go all the way down, pull it out, plop it in. And there we go. So I have a lot of little banner pieces uh, in this pink color. I love that bright pink. Now, I need a few of these other colors as well. So I'm going to show you how you can punch just a few if you don't want to punch a whole row. You can still use this as a standalone punch. Okay, I'm going to punch a few. Okay, and then I punch a few of this blue like this. 
and this darker blue like this okay so I think that's all of my colors that I need for my little banners let me make sure so I used the blue that's actually the pink the darker blue and the green yeah okay so I'm not gonna do this whole thing I'm just gonna do enough to show you how this works okay now I have a lot going on here I'm going to take my ruler and a pencil and I'm gonna put these side by side Okay, and I'm gonna draw a ruler, a ruler line at the bottom of where that strip of paper is gonna go. So I'll have a guideline. All right, I'm gonna mat, mount my little flags first. Okay. alternating my colors so this would be the one that says happy and then there's a pink one in between and then I would say birthday now I forgot to tell you this but it's a good idea to get your center point first so this is um, a 12 by 12 piece of paper so my center point is at the six so I would look at this and get an idea of where my center point would be. And it would be where the eye is on birthday. So let's just see how I'm doing here. B, I, okay. I'm sorry, the eye is a green one. Now, okay, yeah, so the center needs to be the eye. So this is where the eye is going to be. So I'm going to do this. This is, this is how I'd actually do it. Sorry, I'm kind of thinking backwards, but I'm going to put the eye right there. And this is going to have an eye on it when I'm done, okay? That's my center point, and then I'm gonna work my way this way to spell birthday and backwards to say happy birthday. So, this one would have the B on it. It's gonna to go to the left of the I, B, I. The R is gonna be this color, R, and then I would go on until it says birthday. And then I would work my way back, because this is my center point, um, and this is the B. There's a pink one that's kind of in between the two words that's just gonna have, hold on just one second. Kenny, I'm doing a video, so don't let Scout out yet. Okay, so sorry about that. My husband just got home and I didn't want the dog to start barking. I wanted him to know I'm doing a video so he wouldn't interrupt me. Okay, so. This is where the I would be in the center. This would be the B, this would be the R, and it would spell birthday. Then there was a center one that I'm gonna put, like I want all the, the ones that are gonna spell a word, I want them to be closer together. This is gonna be in the center and it's gonna have just a little symbol on it. And then I'm gonna work my way back and say happy. Why? P P A H. Okay, I hope you get the idea. So start in the center, work your way that way and that way. So everything's centered up. All right. And then you would you would let's do the center one first. I'm gonna flip it over and put some tape runner and mount it down in the center. Then mount this one down and work my way to the right. And I kind of want these to look like 
actual flag banner that are kind of waving in the wind. So they don't have to be perfectly straight. I kind of want them all a little bit different actually. And then I would, anyway, I would mount all of those down like, like this and get this look. And then when I'm done with that, I would take that strip of paper that I cut and put some tape runner on the back, repositionable. And then I would mount that on top here. So it would cover the tops of the flag banners and it would look like what the, the flags are hanging from. Okay, so I put it there and press it down. And then I would add these little epoxy stickers, which are super cute. They're kind of um, raised and a little bit shiny. And that's what these are. And these are from the same collection. So I would add like this balloon right here, this star balloon here. And then I would just take my, the fine tip pen from our pen set and draw a little line with little bows and then do the same thing here. And then I have my banner. And y'all, I liked, I just got this little symbol off of another sticker strip from another collection because I wanted the happy and the birthday to be separate, but a little flag between, and then there's a little bit extra space, you know, so it makes the words definitely seem different. Okay, so that's how I did that banner. I hope that makes sense. Um, okay, here we go. Let me move all this out of the way. And then to do your photos, I've got these pretend photos here. So there's a four by six here, four by six here. Um, this it started out as a horizontal four by six. And then this is where my, my map will be that I journal in. So I wanna get the mats to go behind these photos. So if I want, this pink to be a mat behind this photo. First of all, this photo needs to be cut down to five by four instead of six by four. So I'm going to do that. So it's a four by six, but I want it to be this way with an inch cut off to make it four by five. Okay, so I did that. And then I'm gonna grab my pen just to show you for training purposes. This is our new Rainbow Dots pen case. And I'm gonna change this since I cut an inch off. It's now a four by five photo. All right, so that's gonna go here. Now, when you want a skinny mat, you cut the mat a quarter of an inch larger on two sides. So I want to cut it to four and a quarter by five and a quarter. So I'm going to take my trimmer, open up my arm, make sure my little foot is open so everything's level. Now first I want to get a good straight edge on here. This is my scrap paper, so I'm going to cut that off to get a good straight edge. So I'm gonna use this in. So I need a five and a quarter by a four and a quarter. So I'm first I measured to five and a quarter, now I'm gonna to measure to four and a quarter. Okay, so this should be the perfect size to map my photo. And it is. So I would put some tape runner on the back and y'all I use in index cards for my pretend photos to demonstrate with. That's why the lines were on the other side. And then I'm just gonna match that up and I'm, I'm good with that. It's not exactly perfect, but you get the idea. And I actually did cut that a little bit crooked, so I'm gonna take my scissors. It's a little bit too wide on this end and just sort of freestyle cut that. It must have slipped and gotten sideways on me. So that's how you get your mat. And then on this one, since it's a six by four photo and I want this blue mat, I would cut it six and a quarter by four and a quarter and the same here. Okay, now this 
is a journal box from the mat pack. And I do believe I have it here. It's already decorated for me. I just need it cut a little bit um, shorter. So I wanna draw a line right there to show me that I wanna cut that off. And that's probably about an inch, but let's see. Okay, so to cut this off, this dotted line right here is where the blade comes down on the left hand side dotted line of this rubber mat. So I want my pencil line to match up with that. So it is right at an inch. So I need to cut an inch off of this. So I'm going to close it and cut that off. And that would go here. And I would write in it with my black pen on the, with the fine tip side. And then I would mat it with the blue, just like I did the others. And then I would end up with this final look of this cute, bright, and fun birthday page using the Birthday Bonanza collection from Creative Memories. I hope you all like that, and I hope you have a wonderful day.